Hey guys, and welcome to Resist Scale. So today I'll share a brand new way of writing articles that will allow you to create extremely helpful content and studying articles like this, like this, and finally like this. So stay tuned. So not many people realize this, but the name of the game when it comes to AI content generation is content curation. So think about it. Everybody can generate an article using ChatGPT, Claude, AI writers, but the real value comes from content curation. It is you controlling the sources to give the best possible angle, outcome, interpretation for the end user. So this is going to be a four-step process, very simple. And we start with own the sources. And we'll be using Notebook Lab and a couple of custom tools that I have developed to expedite the process. So if you know Notebook Lab, this is an amazing free resource that allows you to use different sources. And in this today's video, we're going to be looking at YouTube. This YouTube is up to date. It has an amazing variety of different angles, opinions, data sets, and that's what we're going to be using today. So let me start a new notebook, just like so. And now we need to be adding sources. Of course, you can add everything manually, but I've developed a YouTube scraper that scrapes 20, 50, 100, or all videos based on the YouTube channel handle playlist, which is extremely helpful. So you can paste in the playlist here, or which is even more helpful in some of the use cases based on the keyword. So we're going to be writing a Ryan AI review article. This is the keyword that we're going to be using, Ryan AI review. I think 20 videos is going to be sufficient. So let's click on straight videos. These are the videos here. You can copy everything. That's what we're going to be doing. Go to Notebook Lab. We'll choose link and especially website, not YouTube, because this option does not allow you to upload in bulk. So website it is. Let's paste in the videos. Let's click on the insert. You need to make sure that everything is being uploaded properly and there are no mistakes or errors. We can disqualify these two resources for some reason. Noble doesn't like them. Okay. Step two in our process is finding unaddressed hidden pain points that you will not get in your regular keyword research tools or even with YouTube autocomplete often. So what I suggest you do is twofold. You can go to my searchgapmethod.com free keywords, YouTube autocomplete. You can paste in Ryan AI review. So I actually ended up using Ryan AI as my seed keywords. And you can still get some good keywords like how to use Ryan AI for free, Ryan AI humanizer review, Ryan AI versus torrenting. So there is still some value in this. But this too is way better. So the way it works, you add a bunch of URLs from here. So you can copy them individually, paste them here. You populate this whole thing. You click on start analysis. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to get main questions extracted from all those comments. How to use Ryan AI, how to check if text is AI generated, how to humanize AI generated text, how to make AI text sound more human, how to pass AI detectors like originality. You get transactional keywords, you get main pain points, which is amazing, like professor's reaction to AI tools or disparity in AI access among different user groups. You get different lead magnets ideas, which we will not be touching upon today. But what you can do, you can download these main questions. You open them in an Excel. Just make sure you have a header like FAQ. And then you can apply a simple filter and only look at those keywords that contain the name of the tool, which is Ryan AI. And there you have it. These are the questions that pertain to Ryan AI and Ryan AI only. So there is 46 of those. Can I get a refund? How reliable is Ryan AI? Does Ryan AI store user text? Is there a mobile version of Ryan AI? So this is amazing. And you will never ever get these keywords anywhere else. So you take note of them, you save this as a separate file, then you go to the notebook alarm and you click on reports. You type in create your own and you do something, create a comprehensive report 
that talks about, and then you paste this in, in verdict based on different criteria, one to 10. So you basically want a report that scores through IDI, that outputs key features, pros and cons, pricing plans, comparisons, stuff like that. So you click on generate. I have already done that. So this is my report, all in-depth expert review. This is the one. It's very thorough. It's based on the sources that I chose. And you save this report as a separate file. So you now have two pieces of data. You have the report from Notebook Lab and you have the questions from the tool that I showed you. You can also use YouTube or a complete tool, which I host on searchgapmethod.com. And then you go to your multimedia LM, multi-model LM of choice. This is Manus, this is Skywork, and this is Genspark. With Genspark, I'm using the AI developer for those of you playing at home. And this is the prompt you want to be using based on the provided reports. And this is the report from Notebook Lab. Generate a stunning HTML article with relevant screenshots and videos based on the below outline. And the outline is that of a perfect review. So introduction, key takeaways tables, key features, pros and cons, pricing plans, comparisons, list of made decision-making factors, expert quotes and opinions, how to use the product, and an accordion FAQ that is based on the data that I got from my insights extractor. Then you run the prompt, and once again, this is what you are getting. This is Manus, Brian AI, the academic stealth engine. I like the design a lot. It's very minimalistic. I would love to have more FAQs cover because we had 46, I think, but still it looks amazing. Skywork uh, did okay as well. So you have features, you have pricing, you have FAQs. And I don't think we've covered a lot, but some are there. So you can get on those AA overviews and the overall feel of the article is good. It's a well-structured article. It's actually evaluating right AI against humanization efficacy, output quality, feature sets, and value for money. And finally, there is Genspark. And you know, I like Genspark. You can get 10% off if you follow the link below. So right AI, the all-in-one writing humanizing platform. The snappy verdict, then key takeaways, amazing overall performance, key features, as you can see, all run on screenshots. And I didn't paste anything. I just told it to fetch those screenshots, pricing plans. Uh, how right AI compare? So this one is a bit iffy, and I think this is a screenshot, but uh, it's an easy fix. Wow, look at that feature comparison. Why I choose Ryan AI, expert opinions, a small guide on how to use Ryan AI. And finally, frequently asked questions. And as you can see, the FAQ section is the longest out of all of the LMs that I tried. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, roughly. Well, I think there is around 20 keywords. And this article looks amazing. To sum up, content curation is your biggest bet when it comes to text generation. You need to own the sources, you need to uncover the pain points, you need to create the reports and the FAQs and generate stunning article. I will share everything inside of my school community, inside of Jazzpark Academy, and people are getting amazing results, building tools, launching ranking rants, ranking in 24 hours. If you want a ranking module separately, which is an advanced version of the search gap, you can go to the searchgapmethod.com. I'm still hosting the end of the year sale. So get it while it lasts, read the testimonials, watch the case studies, three here and four at the bottom. And I wish you luck. Take care.